One of the first stories you did, I think, for 60 Minutes was profiling Shohei Otani. What you knew then or found out then and where he is now, uh, I, th- I think we're trying to understand what, what motivates him and, and, you know, the surroundings that he's in and free agency and does he want to be in New York? You know, he's on the periphery of L.A. by being in Anaheim. Do you, did you, like, glean anything from him of his personality and, and, and what makes him comfortable? He struck me as a really weird mix. I don't mean weird. I mean, it was a really sort of fascinating mix of supreme confidence, right? I mean, he wasn't going to let some agent, he wasn't going to let some manager. I mean, he wanted to play both ways and he was absolutely firm that he could do it and he would do it. I mean, it was a deal breaker. And at the same time, there was such a humility. He had no interest. And, in, you know, I, I people say, well, there's, there's, you know, he's only going to end up on one of three markets because you have a star like that and all the money he could make. And I had people close to him saying they don't understand him. He loves baseball. He loves his family. He's a simple guy. He doesn't want the publicity. He's not interested in going to the, the hottest club in South Beach or living in lower Manhattan. And I think in a weird way, it, it was appropriate. I mean, he went to a West Coast, you know, obviously it's closer to home, m- marginally so. Um, it's all about the baseball, and it sounds like such a cliche. But, you know, you, you'd ask him what he'd do for fun, and he would have a hard time remembering his, his favorite place to eat in Sapporo. But then you'd mention Clayton Kershaw, and his eyes would light up. Um <laughs> he was a fascinating guy, but but I think, he, again, it's, it's sort of our, our theme for the conversation. He has a different set of motivations than what we are used to. This is not about doing production deals and a podcast and maxing out his endorsement portfolio. Um, different economics. Well, I wonder if that bodes well for the Angels because they no, let him pitch and hit, and there's, there's a comfort level there, and, and it feels like he gets into a routine. He's simple. He likes the routine. He likes the people. He likes the environment. A hundred percent. And I think that, uh, you know, if, if somebody's whispering his ear, hey, come to this this snazzy big, big, I can get you a meeting with so-and-so and you'll sit courtside at Knicks games. I think he loves that he's not even the biggest team in the market he's in. And he, he's in Orange County. I mean, he. I mean, even now, that story, I think, was 2017. I mean, how many long sit-down interviews have you seen? Um he, he keeps himself. He goes to the ballpark. He loves baseball. They're not hassling him about it. You know, pitch counts, and we we want to cut down on your starts. I think it's a you know you, you wish the team were winning more games. I think baseball wishes the team were more relevant. I think it's kind of a perfect situation for him.